Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, and as you can see, we are on ClashOfClansBuilder.com, guys. We are going to be doing a Town Hall 7 base build um, for the Let's Clash series slash Town Hall 7 base build because I haven't really done any before. <laughs> Um, I am still working on upgrading my defenses. I don't have all my Teslas or anything like that up on my um, current Let's Clash account. So I'm going to be building it in here so you guys can kind of see how things uh, work in my mind and how I explain stuff. I have not built this base, guys. This is going to be straight freestyle. So I'm just going to be talking things out with you guys. Um, I am going to be building a farming base. So let me scoot this off to the side. And, um, yeah, sorry if I sound congested, I'm a little bit sick, but, um, yeah, so guys, as I said, we're just gonna kind of go through this together, and, uh, let's just see what happens. Again, I haven't built this base yet. Um, so, uh, since it's a farming base, if you're in an active clan, you want your clan castle to be centralized. Um, so why don't we put that in the center, and why don't we go ahead and, uh, begin building around that. So let's go ahead and get, um, two of our storages in there with the clan castle and then let's put these on opposite sides so that um, people can't just get free uh, whatever loot um, let's bring out our mortars um, let's bring out our Teslas and let's bring out our wizard towers and let's do a little bit of work with these so I'm gonna put the wizards right here and right here so that they are protecting our um, resources and then let's go ahead and put a mortar right here, a mortar right here, and then a mortar right here. Um, and we can go ahead and build up these walls right here around the outside. Um, and the awesome thing about Clash of Clans Builder is that you can just like highlight over stuff. So you have an option of putting walls here if you want to. I'm not going to do it yet because I still want to um, see what I can do with my walls. As I said, I haven't built this base yet, so this is going to be the first time doing it. Um, Air defense is very important, especially now at Town Hall 7 when people are using dragons more um, just because they think they're cool. So we're going to go ahead and put that air defense right in here. And then why don't we bring up our archers as well. Um, and then our cannons can just stay right there. So let's put an archer tower right here. Why don't we scoot these over one and pull them out one like this. So we are going to do just like that. Um, pull this one out, bring this over, and again guys, as I said, I have not built this base yet, so we are just uh, kind of going to be working through this. I forgot to pull these out. Um, so yeah, everything that I'm doing right now is just, just happening. <laughs> so we're going to bring this right in here like this, um, and then why don't we actually, um, I'm trying to think of an awesome way to use some traps in this base, because I love using traps. Um, we're just going to put the other air defense up here right now. As long as you have one protected that covers pretty much the whole base, that's okay. It's kind of hard to protect both of them at this level. Um, uh, so, yeah, I think that, let's see, why don't we go ahead and just wall this air defense in as well right there so that that thing is safe and sound. Um, it is going to be very important for us to protect our mortars as well as our wizard towers because we need those up for splash damage. Also, you don't want your mortars right on the edge because if barbarians come right up here to where my mouse is by this bottom mortar, um, the mortar can't shoot them, which is annoying. So uh, what we are going to do is why don't we bring over a cannon um, and, well, let's see, why don't we put the cannon right here and um, what do we want to do? Let's bring the cannon right here and let's bring this storage right here and let's build around these like this and then let's bring a trap right over here and then why don't we bring this Tesla right here as well and we're gonna put that right there and we're going to put the other trap right in there and then let's flip flop and do the exact same thing on the other side so how is that put this right here and then the gold mine right here um, and the reason that you want to have the gold mine first is because that way the giants have to walk across that just to get to um, just to get to the mortar. Um, I'm looking at this right now and it's spreading out kind of weird, so we might we might flip flop some things on here in a second. Um, and let's put the other trap right there. Um, why don't we go ahead and bring in? 
our uh, shoot. What do we want to do? Let's bring these archers over here. Um, bring these archers over here. We're gonna put an archer right there, and then let's put the cannons. All right, so archer like that. Archer like this. Another cannon right here, and then let's bring in um, a mine, and then another mine, um, and let's build around this. See how we do here. Um, and the reason that you want to build out right like this and not like, um, actually no, you can build out like that. We'll bring this in. Um, so that's kind of starting to take shape. This air defense up here is definitely vulnerable, um, but I would rather have that be vulnerable than my mortar. So we're going to leave the mortar right there. Um, all that we have left is this cannon and this, um, this barbarian king. Um, gosh, I'm trying to figure out. You know, I don't. I don't like how this is is, is turning out. We're going to bring. Um, this other cannon right here and we're gonna bring this other cannon right here um, and then we are going to build right here come on no way am I out of walls I'm seriously already out of walls goodness gracious <laughs> all right so it looks like we have some rethinking to do we used way too many walls right here um, all right so we're gonna remove these walls and um, let's see you can always protect stuff like that where are my barracks Let's bring up some of the barracks. So you can always protect things like your mortars like this um, with just a little wall that comes out like, come on. So you can do something like that. Man, we are using up so many walls right now. This is crazy. I might just leave these Teslas out here um, unwalled. Um, and giants will just go after those. Maybe I'll put, maybe I'll actually put the Teslas like this and put a trap in front of it and then a trap uh, in that one area. Um, sorry, I'm kind of thinking things through right here. Okay, so um, we have an okay amount of walls left over. We do still have this air defense right here that we need to protect. Um, as well as these archer towers. I'm not used to having this few of walls. I don't like this. <laughs> um, all right, so those are going in there. I almost don't want to protect these things anymore just because they're taking up a lot of my walls. Um, and I don't like that. Let's see, we definitely do need to um, wall this in. You know what I might do? I'm actually going to bring uh, that right there. So the clan castle is still pretty much in the middle. Um, put this other air defense right here. Oh gosh. Working through things, guys. Working through things. This is obviously going to be a longer video. You guys are going to have to bear with me. Um, and let's see. So we have a cannon left over. Why don't we do this? Bring this archer tower right in here. There we go. Get rid of these walls. Bring this archer tower right in here again. Put that over there. Um, fill this in. All right, so we have a cannon left. I almost. Why don't we? Why don't we put the cannon right up here where this guy is, and then we can. Just build a little set of walls like this around here. Um, and we have five, we have seven more walls that we can use. Um, so our wizards are protected, which is important. Our mortars are um, relatively protected. Um, we could do a little something like this. I'm going to be out of walls soon. Yep, I'm already out of them. All right, so we don't want to do that. Um, why don't we actually, here, we are going to get rid of those walls as well. Bring that out. Bring that out. Now we can have, um, let's see, 
Let's just have a center square right in here. So we'll fill that in. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. There we go with that. Um, and this air defense down here is just gonna have to be is just gonna have to be vulnerable. Um, unless we want to put a storage over here. We do still have the dark elixir storage, but you're not gonna have that much dark elixir at this point in the game since you don't have um, a pump really and you're not up in like Crystal League. So yeah, I'm not gonna that's not gonna be my priority. It can be yours if you want it to, um, but that is not going to be my priority um, with the designing of this base. Let's go ahead and bring up some more of our uh, collectors as well. And as I always tell you guys, you want to do, you want to spread out um, your storage, your uh, barracks, and your collectors. So right now you can see that we have collector, barrack, and then we'll do another collector. Um, we'll put another collector right here, and then bring out these barracks. Excuse me. <laughs> bring out let's bring out our army camps we can put an army camp right here an army camp right here why don't we actually put the town hall right here that'll kind of protect that air defense a little bit um, so yep and then we're going to go with army camp right there and army camp right here let's do dark elixir right here if you do have a barbarian king um, he can be outside at this point um, let's bring everything up all right, so our builder's huts, that's okay. So we still have um, an okay amount of walls that we can use. Um, we could always bring these in like this. Uh, and then let's see here. All right, so we still have a little over 10. We could expand something in the center to Let's see, what would this look like? What am I what am I doing? Um, can we fit anything right there? No. Alright, let's build that back. <laughs> see guys, this is this is what goes through my head whenever I'm I'm making bases. So you guys are seeing everything that is being done right now. Um, so let's see, gosh, what else do I, what else do I want to do? The inside is, is pretty well protected. Um, obviously I do still have all these things around the edge um, that we can put out barracks mines barracks elixir pump written spell factory we can bring up here um, I actually want to put a barrack right here as well as a barrack right here, put a pump up here. Spare spell factory can come over here. Um, and you know what we can do? We can fill this little area in with walls. Um, and gosh, but I almost want to. I don't. That's that's almost that's a waste of walls, in my opinion. Um, we'll do a air bomb right there. No, actually here, air bomb right there. Air bomb right here. <clears throat> Obviously, you guys can switch those up to wherever the heck you want them. You know, why don't we go ahead? Why don't we do this? We are going to make the Tesla trap right here. Okay, so we are going to be building around that. So build out over. I guess that's just two. Yeah, so we can do that. Um, I don't have to put these two right here, but I can. So that'll go there, and then, I mean, shoot, we can connect these so that it, it takes goblins a little bit longer to get there. Um, and then, Builder's Huts, you can just put all the way around the base, wherever the heck you want them. Um, let's scoot this over. And I'm going to bring this pump right in here. Let's go ahead and do pump, Eric, pump like I mentioned before and we have two more walls that we can use you know why don't we just go ahead and do this just so that we make sure that the Giants get in there and you know guys I actually don't think that that is a bad design um, 
I might tweak some things, but I generally go over things uh, a couple of times before I finalize them. But hey, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. So we have our triangulated mortars that are protected um, from archers pretty well. We have our wizards that are protected from archers as well. Or, yeah, from archers. Um, we have an air defense right here that is centralized that is going to protect a very good center of the base. We have our clan castle very much so centralized as well. Um, we have this other air defense down here. And then we have um, cannon, archer, cannon, cannon, archer, mm -hmm. cannon, archer, cannon, archer. So um, we have our point defenses spread out as well, guys. Um, this is a pretty cool base. You guys can go ahead and try it out. I might do this once I get everything up um, and upgrading. Uh, but yeah, that's all, guys. I hope that y'all like this. Let me know if you want me to do this in the future for other bases. Um, and you guys can kind of see the process that I go through when I create bases. But um, this has been a longer video. I hope that you guys like that. Why don't you leave a like and comment um, to let me know that you like this. And as always, guys, y'all rock. You mean so much to me. Thank you so much for the support. Um, I can't believe it. It's so cool. Um, and as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I will see you guys later.